Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in living color from the Paper's Control Room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Monday, June 6, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast, so do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips and treatment advice provided free 24 hours a day. In our top story today, this weekend saw the graduation of Crawfordsville High School's class of 2011. Victoria Gregory was their valedictorian and Kathleen Grimble was their salutatorian. And the graduating class of 2011 celebrated with Silly String. In case you're wondering where your tax dollars go, today we bring you a list of the top 10 paid positions in local government. Number 10 is Assistant Substance Abuse Probation Officer Jennifer York with $46,800 per year. Number 9, Sergeant Paul Davis, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, $46,900 per year. Tied with number 8, Sergeant Jeremy Hughes of Montgomery County Sheriff's Department, also $46,900. Number 7, County Nurse Rebecca Lang, $47,350 per year. Number six, Deputy Prosecutor Kyle Goble, $48,500 per year. Number five, Assistant Chief Probation Officer Mark Bickle, $53,940 per year. Number four, Captain Chuck Leonard, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, $54,350. Number three, Chief Probation Officer Kaylee Coley, $59,955. And your number two, Deputy Prosecutor Andrew Salter, $61,650. It should be noted that the prosecutor himself is paid by the state. And number one, Sheriff Mark Castile, $95,000 a year. The source of this information is the Montgomery County Auditor's Office. We'll be back with more local news right after this. I'm Kim Van Matry from the paper Montgomery County. I'm looking for the best salespeople out there. The economy is tough, the gas is high, and this job can pay for all that. It's a hard job, it's only for the best, and it can be rewarding as hell if you're good at it. I want someone who is energetic, who likes working with people, who likes to work, and has a great personality. I'm offering great benefits. Insurance, a base salary, great commission, gas allotment, and much more. Call or email me if you have what it takes. Crowd pleaser Jimmy Bustle is scheduled to sing Friday night during the Strawberry Festival at the Lane Place. The festival is Friday through Sunday. And paper trivia is your chance to win prizes by showing off how much you know. If you've got all the answers, click on this tile on our homepage to go to the paper trivia section. And if you answer correctly, you could be our next winner. Must read features. That's what we hope to bring you each day, Monday through Saturday. On Mondays, you'll get a new top 10 list. Tuesdays, your money. Wednesdays, your health. Thursdays, your tax dollars at work, Fridays, games people play, and Saturdays, tech bites. Watch for each one and let us know what you think. In other news, the adult summer reading program started June 1st at the Crawfordsville District Public Library. Roll the dice and let the dice tell you what to read next. In July, Larry Grimes will speak at the library comparing the Holocaust and Rwanda. And Frank Phillips' guests this week on Frankly Speaking are the organizers of the Nicholson Elementary School Breakfast Club. Frankly Speaking can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website. You can also click on this tile on our homepage to watch this week's episode directly. Today's news is brought to you in part by the National Guard. There's a moment you reach deep inside yourself. When you find the courage to fight through the elements, and you find the strength to save a life. These are the kinds of moments you'll experience in the National Guard. If you've got it inside you, this is your time to act. Visit the Guard online at nationalguard.com or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. Stay tuned because Indiana's weatherman Paul Poteet is your local forecast next and Candace Rorman is going to be bringing you the sports. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the ICAR Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Gould's will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck.
meteorologist Paul Poteet. It is Monday, time for another Montgomery County weather update, and it's sponsored, as always, by Gould Body and Paint. Back at work today, out there on Wayne Town Road, 607 Wayne Town Road in Crawfordsville. Now, uh, Gould Body and Paint, you know their story, right? Diana and Don, their business is a wreck, but they seem to be okay with that. You give them a call if you need some uh, body work done. 364-1067. 364-1067. Yeah, I need some body work done. I'm peeling a little bit on a couple of my shoulders, but I think that may be just too much sun. Did you get out there over the weekend, soak up some of that sun and that stickiness that was out there too? Well, some thunderstorms were firing Saturday evening. They proved deadly over in the Anderson area after a tree fell on a vehicle that was parked around the Mound State Park. So sometimes it's not just tornadoes that uh, cause weather tragedy. We've moved on since then. It will be very sticky once we get the humidity back into the picture for tonight. Look at today's temperatures. Uh, up to about 89 where we are today. 89 for the high temperature here, about 90 degrees in Lafayette. And it should be up around 90 also in Terre Haute. 88 in Muncie. There was a little bit of fog earlier this morning in the southern half of the state. And look at those low temperatures tonight, right around 70 this evening. And then it only gets warmer for tomorrow. Tuesday's high into the low to mid-90s. And let me advance the storyline just a little, kick the ball a little farther down the road here. And you can see that not only will it be into the uh, 90s on Tuesday, but for the next few days into Wednesday, we'll also have temperatures into the low to mid-90s around here. Heat index numbers easily could be up around 100 as they were last Saturday. You know, Indianapolis broke a record high temperature on Saturday, made it up to 95 degrees. The old record uh, busted by about one degree. That went back to 1925. So Tuesday and Wednesday, very, very warm, very, very sticky. And then on Thursday, we get back into rain chances. That'll knock the temperatures down a little bit. I think by Thursday, we'll only be around 88 degrees. Now, as far as the weather map goes today across the country, here's what we're looking at. Around here, we'll see eventually an area of low pressure pull away, and uh, that low pressure uh, starts the day, at least if you look at the uh, weather map today, starts the day uh, back out uh, toward the uh, south of us, southeast of us, and we expect to see a frontal system nearby on and off for the next uh, couple of days. That weather map does indicate some severe weather possible, uh, that would be in Wisconsin today over to Michigan. And it looks like the next couple of days the severe weather will hold off to the north of us. And in fact, they may have some rough uh, storms in the western part of North Dakota today, parts of South Dakota, and on into Montana. So the warm front you see to the west lifts up to the north today as a warm front, and that opens the door tonight and tomorrow to plenty of heat and humidity. Here are the numbers via polpotite.com. Today's high up to about 89 degrees, then 93 for tomorrow, 94 on Wednesday. There is a slight chance of storms. I have it there on the graphic for Tuesday. That would be in the morning only if we see some overnight storms that are up to our north hold together and slip to the southeast from about especially Indy to the east, and it's just a slight chance around here, but there is at least a slight chance of a thunderstorm Tuesday morning. Otherwise, don't sweat it. Well, sweat it, but uh, don't have to worry about too much in the way of severe weather until maybe some storms on Thursday. That's the forecast. I hope you have a great day. I hope you'll check me out online also at paulpoteet.com. And for the latest Montgomery County news, sports, and weather, you got it right here on the home of Paper News 24-7. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. Floor covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's. All backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zahn's today and see why we want to be everywhere you are. I'm Hannah Sorum with your local sports for Monday. The Crawfordsville Athenian baseball team was able to extend their season on Saturday with a 14-4 win over Mount Vernon. The Athenians were supposed to play in the regional championship on Saturday night, but a rainstorm moved that game to tonight. The Athenians will take on Greenberg at 7 p.m. If they are able to win, they will move on to play in the semi-state next Saturday. 
Kelly Kyle and Kiera Bonebreak were able to win their first regional championship in the doubles tournament on Saturday. They were able to beat two different teams and will next play at the state finals on either Friday or Saturday. Don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for Monday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of The Paper of Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Candace Shortman. You stay classy, Robertsville.